Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper B. Here we're working on question 10, a vectors slash forces type question. So for part A we have the vector F1, uh, find the angle between the acceleration and I. So this here is our acceleration. Um, we must remember we're working with forces here so we have a formula of F equals MA, force that would be a vector times m which will be a value times a which will be the acceleration so for part a we want the angle between the acceleration that's this vector here and i so just drawing a little quick diagram out it's three to the right two down so we want this angle here this is our i vector this is three i minus two j 3i that will make it go to the right and minus 2j will make it go down. So from this diagram here I can see I've got 3 to the right and 2 down inside a little right angled triangle here. Um, so tan to the minus 1 and it's opposite over adjacent. So 2 over 3. Don't bother about the minus because that's not needed for this part of the question. Um, and this will give you 33.7 degrees. Um, yeah, so the angle between the acceleration and I is 33.7 degrees. Um, it says on the mark scheme here that it's minus 33.7 degrees here as it's underneath it, so you can always just write that just to be safe. Okay, find the value of P and Q. Right, okay, so let's go back to what the question is asking. We have a mass of 6 kilograms and it moves under the action of two forces, F1 and F2, where F1 is that and F2 is that. And we want to find the value of P and Q. So the resultant of the two forces is the two forces added together. So we're going to need this first. If they're under the action of two forces, we need to know what they are added together. So F1 add F2 is going to be equal to 8i add pi, so it'd be 8 add p lots of i, and then for the j part it's minus 10 add a q, so I'll make that q minus 10 j. Okay now, so what we need now is to start to look at our f equals ma equation. Now the f part is everything that we had from the resultant of those two forces. So for the left hand side of this formula, 8 plus pi plus q minus 10j uh, is going to equal, now I'm looking on the right hand side of this formula here, mass of 6 times a, which is our acceleration vector, 3i minus 2j. Okay, so what I'm going to look at now is the i components and work out what p is. So 8 plus p on the left must match up with 18 on the right, so that must mean that P is 10, and looking at the J components on the left and right, that must mean that Q minus 10 must match up with minus 12, so P must be, so Q rather, Q must be minus 2. Excellent. So for part C, the question is, find the magnitude of the resultant force R of the two forces F1 and F2. Simplify your answers. Okay, so what we have to do here is first we have to work out what R is, and then we'll look at what the magnitude means. So R is going to be this, um, this vector here that we found. So it's going to be 8 plus P. P was 10, so it's going to be... Um, 18i and then for the second one here it's going to be a minus 2 minus 10 so that'd be minus 12j so this is going to be newtons the resultant forces in newtons okay so the magnitude of this force is now the total amount of this force if i was to draw this out 18 across 12 down it would be the total length on this line here from the 0, 0 coordinate 
to the coordinate 18 minus 12. So a bit of square rooting and uh, Pythagoras is theorem here. So square root of 18 squared add 12 squared, which is going to equal 6 root 13 on the calculator. Okay, great. So that's eight marks for that question.